Hello everyone and welcome. Some of you requested this tutorial about making a turret and wiring it to my turret E2 on Gary's mode. I am recording this using the standard Windows 10 game recorder while running this game in window mode at 720p on my XMG laptop. So here we begin. As, as a normal tank, you should have a base plate, something, well, pretty much bigger than this. Like, this one should be okay. Now I just demonstrate how I make the turret mechanism to work. Because, uh, as some of you may have noticed, if you make something like a spinner that I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is the effect on some turrets that I see. Probably you can fix this with weight because don't know why, but in Gary's mom, heavier things can can take heavier weights. But still, you you see, you have a five-ton turret rotator uh, for just a I don't know a one and a half ton gun, and still this isn't very sturdy. You see, when you drive your tank around, this will wobble around, your aim won't be precise, etc. So, let me see you how I do make this thing works. Well, actually, I do get rid of the turret rotator. But here, I'll just, I'll just place one and show you how I do. I do use precision alignment on also my single player server, so I'm, I use this now if you want to see how I do use it, just take a look at the video, it's, it's too complicated tool to get. Ok, so here we have the rotator place, we should just get a nexus sensor on it, so it can move. I usually don't move things when I make my tanks and the tanks that I release. I, I if I want to move something, touch it and be sure that it works. I, I dupe it and then I, I'll grab it. So where do we want to rotate? Uh, let me see. Shall we bring some cylinders just to make it more visual for you? It's a new point uh, when I'm you, I'm just shooting with the precision alignment gun. I'll keep shift pressed. Okay, so here's where our gun will rotate over the rotator. Nice, it's nearly perfect, but I want it offset so I can teach you another thing. That should do it. Okay, so now uh, I'll just let me not collide and um, weld it to the rotator, set the rotator weight to 100. Alright, so now where do we want our turret to rotate? Well, of course, in the, on the rotator axis. So let's. Uh, I place two points in, on the rotator midpoint. So I'm, but I'm gonna attach them to the to the base plate that I have selected. Right click. Yes, I have moved the the constructor so they are attached, as you can see, with the with the green line to the base. I'm gonna get one of them and put them near to the base. And this one, well over the cannon, so probably it's 80. Let me see. So here's the Z rotation axis. So we want to have a, also an X rotation axis. Let me place one point in the hit position of this and another one here. Yes. 
and attach them to the cannon itself. That's it. So now we're gonna do it all by four ropes, just four ropes to move the cannon so it will be very sturdy. They are arranged in triangles and I make them visible for you. Also this dude will be present on my website, link in the description below. So let's get the constraint rope uh, point 0.1 to point 0.4, let's make it rigid, of course, rigid. And I'll make them one width so you can see them. I created one rope from that way, you see? So let's make the other way around, like a mirror. And then move it to the upper points. That should do it. Perfectly fine. Let's see. Oh yeah! We have our turret, but the, the cannon is rotating correctly. But the, the rotator is not. It, it's like unwelded and it's very sturdy, as you can see. Also, this is not centered, and I will show you later how to make it perfectly constant in order to your aim not to be offset like one degree below when you use the E2 force turret. Well, first thing first, I noted that, that I have collisions here, and I don't want to no collider. And then I usually do uh, advanced ball sockets with the precision tool, sometimes called the easy precision. You do need to go down to general tool option and enable the advanced user mode, else you don't have advanced ball sockets. So you go to advanced ball sockets. Uh, I do not move targets. I, I highly recommend you to to get rid of those two. It's not percent. It's not in set well. Freeze target is okay. No collide target. I don't use them. Outline toward, of course not. And the entire contraption, of course not. Force break points. You don't need them. So X rotation minimum minus 180 and maximum one 180. It means that it's free. So the X, so in order to move our turret, the X axis should be free. Yes, the Y axis also free, while the Z should be zero and zero. That means locked, uh, and the frictions, well, also zero, whatever, whatever. So let's pick this one and this one. One target for ball socket. So let's check. Oh yeah, so we have our sturdy turret. You see, we have five tons less and a way sturdier turret than everything. So now, how to balance it? So we have our rotating point, this point one, and then where is the mass center? Oh, the mass center is way over to the front, so the turret will tip down whatever she will uh, have chance, so the E2 should compensate that, and thus the aim will not be so precise at long ranges, probably aiming a little down. So, should we get a, a block? Probably yes, let's do a block here. Then the point 0.5 that I did I spawned, let's move it to the point 0.4, that's it's in line with the cannon, and it's backward to the cannon, I weld it, I knuckle-eyed it, and I make it weight. So here we should compensate the weight of the cannon. You can make it in two things, make the block further back, or you can make the block heavier. So let's make it heavier, heavier. sorry. Three hundred and sixty. Probably the block is too close to the cannon, but you see it's a little more balanced. Let me get this to four hundred precisely. Oh yes, that's now more like it. Let me do it with the little 
342, let's say 400. Oh, well, 400 is nearly perfect to get it in balance. Probably 420 will do. I mean, I could have placed it more backward than like halving the weight of this thing, but that, that's just a demonstration. Okay, so we have a nearly perfectly balanced turret. Else you can balance it with, without the counterweight by by attaching it in the rotating point of the mass center. That would be also perfect, but it will not fit on many things that will have small turret and require you to have a, a less cannon inside the turret in order not to clip outside or to inside the tank.